So this is Pete from Fall Boy, and here's a quick track-by-track run-through of Folie à Deux. The disloyal order of Water Buffalo. And the loyal order of the Water Buffalo was a club that Fred Flintstone and Barney belonged to. As you can guess what the disloyal one would be about, I'm not really sure. Uh, as to say, I don't know. It's a song that kicks off the record, and... Uh, me and Patrick wrote it in the closing moments of getting the um, the record together. It's got one of my favorite, or the most relevant lyrics to some of me and my friends, and that is, or just to our generation, and that's detox just to retox. And I think that's just what everybody goes through. Everybody's like, yeah, got to drink a bottle of water so I can go back out tonight. We have I Don't Care, and that is the first single off the record. It is... Uh, uh, an anthem uh, that comments on the YouTube generation but is for the YouTube generation and from the YouTube generation. It's kind of, I don't care what you think as long as it's about me. She's my Winona and uh, people can, I guess, read. I like to let people read kind of a little bit what they want into certain things so I guess Winona could be anyone for you. Uh, Winona for me is Reality Bites, but uh, I have my own Winona. America's Sweethearts is one of my favorite songs off the record. It's the first one we actually wrote, and uh, I think it might catch people by surprise at first, but when we hit the chorus, it's Fall Out Boy on 10, as Fall Out Boy does Fall Out Boy. Head first slide into Cooperstown on a bad bet. If anyone knows anything about Pete Rose, and gambling and when the baseball hall of fame is then they probably understand the title otherwise it's like talking about liverpool soccer club football club in, to an american and we know little and should not talk about it coffees for closers we have coffees for closers which is obviously a reference to glenn gary glenn ross uh... there was the abc's of that and that was always be closing and uh... coffee was for closers what a Catch Donny was uh, the only ballad Fall Out Boy I think has ever written, and it kind of was written to remind me of Patrick more than anything. I think he did a great job on it, and the cool thing about it is it has a reprise in it, which is the first time that Fall Out Boy's ever done a reprise, and uh, Elvis Costello sings in it and, uh, and reprises uh, her first slide. So. I don't know, check it out. There's also some kind of headphone stuff going on in the song that it's cool to listen to. 27 is another one of those songs I'd like people to figure out on their own. Just think about getting past 27. I got a lot of friends that I want to make it there. Tiffany Blues is a song that I could see end up ending up being a single, possibly. I'm not sure. It's one of my favorites. It's got a very weird verse. Um, and the chorus is a little bit more straight ahead. Uh, our friend Lil Wayne sings in a part in it, and it's not probably what people expect, which is kind of cool. Um, he's not rapping, he's actually singing in the part, and it's pretty cool. Whams, I am not going to give up what that one stands for. People are going to have to figure that one out on their own. But that's the track that we did with Pharrell, and I have to say that working in a studio with Pharrell is mind-blowing. And if anyone ever got the chance to do it, you should do it. And I would uh, say that... A lot of people probably won't be able to do that, so you should do virtual hangout in the studio with Pharrell or something. $20 nosebleed. Well, that's about, you know, thin air up in Colorado, I think. That's where you get nosebleeds, right? Yeah, that's what that one's about. And West Coast Smoker is the uh, song that, um, that Debbie Harry actually appears on. Uh, it's one that I feel particularly close to. Uh, because I've seen so many friends kind of get to the precipice of something and then not step off and then they end up kind of falling off and it's uh, not very delicate looking. So that was our record for Le Adieu, uh, track by track. Hopefully you will get a chance to listen to each of the songs individually and figure them out yourself.